I'm Mark Krenzine. I'm a writer, director, and producer of Giant Screen IMAX films, and most recently I wrote and directed Journey to Space. The original idea for this film was to celebrate the retirement of the space shuttle in 2015 and show its history. But after a brief interview with NASA's administrator, where he told me that NASA's primary mission was to put a human on Mars by the end of the 2030s, I thought that's where this film has to go. The space shuttle is just the beginning of what got us to build the International Space Station, which is now leading us onward to the first human mission to Mars. And that's where I wanted this film to go. Why IMAX? Well, I'm an IMAX filmmaker because I like to go and spend time in really unusual, outrageous places, and that's where IMAX films are made. And there's nothing more immersive than a giant screen IMAX film on the dome or a flat screen. And making a film about space, you couldn't give the audience a better feeling for what it would be like to walk and, and be in space than to do it on the giant screen. I was a producer of IMAX Whales, another giant screen film that mostly involved filming underwater as opposed to the uh, rigors of filming in space for Journey to Space. Uh, the interesting thing is that you would think they'd have very different audiences. One, uh, Journey to Space is trying to inspire people uh, in science and technology, whereas Humpback Whales is trying to underscore how we need to save these giant creatures and how uh, successful our efforts to date have been. But the thing they have in common is human curiosity, and that is uh, we all want to know about things that um, engage us, but the interesting thing is along the way the audience of both films are learning something. They're learning about uh, the human condition, about the science that will get us further into the future, and about the science that will save the environment we live in. In Journey to Space, there's an underwater sequence where we see astronaut Serena Onan piloting a mini-sub during an experiment off Key Largo. Uh, it seemed like a surprise that this would be included in a deep space movie, but remember, NASA has to train these astronauts to do very specific things in a gravity-free environment. And the only giant gravity-free environment on Earth is underwater, where we have neutral buoyancy. Uh, and it was just actually a bit of good luck that I had filmed Serena operating this mini-sub about a year before we were in production on Journey to Space. So I realized there's another way I can show how many different things an astronaut has to learn to do in order to make the journey to space. I'm Mark Krenzine. I'm a writer, director, and producer of giant screen IMAX documentaries.